Crazy. Okay. Hey, everybody. I'm pretty sure we're live this time for real. <laughs> I'm here with my friend Tiffany Scott, and we're doing a Facebook Live. Hi, Tiffany. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, hi, Beth. It's so hi. good to see you again. Hi. Yeah, great. So, everybody, if you haven't heard already, um, Tiffany has an awesome new interview series that's starting this week or starting on Monday, and it's all about women being wealthy and collaborating together. And I'm a part of it, and I'm so honored to be one of your guests. Tiffany is, I, I vibe with her so well because we have very similar backgrounds. You know, we do very similar work, and I love the fact that we can collaborate and talk about this this way and also share this with everybody watching. So tell people a little bit more about your series and what you're up to. Yeah, so I'm excited because you're the first, you're the first one on the series on Monday. Mm -hmm. Go out with a bang. So okay. it's called um, How She Made It, Everything You Need to Know About Becoming a Wealthy Woman. And it's really about dissecting and understanding truly what wealth is and then how to create it from, from the inside out, basically. And it's been incredibly inspiring for me because I've got to interview amazing women like yourself to talk about the, the nitty gritty, like the ins and outs of what it really takes to be an entrepreneur woman, uh, woman and um, the, the journey around that, because I think a lot of us are um, kind of <laughs> blindsided into thinking that we can create wealth really, really quickly, like with the marketing that's going on in the world right now around you can make six figures in six seconds and um, you know, just follow this strategy and you've got it made. And it's just, it's not that black and white. And sometimes we get into this spiral of like, well, she did it. So why, why, what's wrong with me? And, um, and so this is really about bringing convergence of really amazing women together of all different backgrounds and talking to them about like what they think wealth is, how they created their own wealth and, um, you know, the evolution of their uh, career cycle as well. So. Mm. I was cracking up because it's so fun. I know, I know me and you both probably get Facebook ads all the time. Like I get Instagram ads, Facebook ads, you know, emails from other people in our industry. And there's a lot of people totally like, Hey, make six figures, you know, download this for a million dollars and you can make it in, you know, 30 days or whatever. And I agree. There's so much BS out there and it's, you know, there's a reality to entrepreneurship. There really is. I mean, we all know multi, you know, I'm friends with the multimillionaires. We all know very successful people that are, that are making it, but yeah, it's not always easy. And, um, you know, I really love what you said or what, you know, what I shared recently in an email about, you know, sometimes this journey is really lonely and, you know, if you don't have this connection of, of like-minded folk, of really good people doing similar things, then you can really get lost. You you get caught in, um, I, I credit this to my friend who I interviewed in my first series, who's an old friend of mine, um, Kay. It's, he calls it compare despair. That whole like, <laughs> oh, well, I see so-and-so on social media who's posting about her like six-figure week and, you know, why is she doing it and I'm not? I mean, but there, there is. There's a reality to all this. So yeah. <laughs> I'm glad yeah. to see it. And it's not to say that people aren't doing it and it's it's not awesome and it's great, but there's a lot of things that are going on in the background and we're often blindsided on like how long it took them to get there, to get to that evolution in that business where they're stepping into their own abundance, their own value and found the strategy that worked for them and all those sorts of things. But the summit, what I've loved about the summit is, and, and I know you do a lot of these and you do do them so well is what's so great is that you got you can go in with an idea of what of how it can unfold but it's really the people that you interview and their message that makes it so beautiful and it's been just so wonderful to listen to the different women and I've learned so much continuing to just ask some questions and having conversations with them that um, there really is a spiritual side and aspect to creating a business that's in alignment with your purpose. And wealth is so much more than just what's in your bank account or how much money you're making every month. And, you know, whether it's $10 or $10,000, if you're not doing the work, if you're not connecting to what your bigger why, like why you want to make a difference in the world, how you want to show up, all the things that are meaningful for you and making that difference, then the wealth, like the money part really doesn't mean anything. Exactly. Well, I mean, the reality is every time, you know, 
you know this entrepreneurship is this it's like riding the waves there's ebbs and flows and there's days where you're like i feel like crap i don't feel like going to work you know just like any other corporate job and then there's days where you're just yeah like always reconnecting to that why and the mission you know and i i literally i don't know about you but there's days where i'm so connected that it's like like i you know i recently signed on a new client last week and it was like i you know just easy like yes. but i was it was all like heart, you know, like I saw her vision, I saw her mission. I was like very, you know, very involved and like, I, you know, I love it. It's like ideally who I, I work with and it's, you know, it's along those lines of what you said, like what my purpose is. My purpose is to help people like her get out there and get her message and out in a bigger way because the world needs it. So the more we're connected to this, this greater purpose, then that's where the true wealth is. And yeah, the money comes too, you know, it's yeah. great, like the money, but you're, you know, I love that you mentioned this, like wealth comes in all forms. Um, and, and, you know, I've talked to, I actually interviewed some other people about this too, about like, what is abundance and what is wealth, you know, because of course right now, you know, it's, it's money, people talk about money, but, you know, to me, wealth is being able to take, you know, take off this Friday and not worry about things, you know, or, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, like, <laughs> go get my nails done at 11 a.m. like whenever I want, you know, if I have to. <laughs> like, <laughs> really? you, you do the interviews with cool people like you. Yeah, yeah, it's true, it's true. It's it, Wealth is like joy, being in your joy. And I think to your point, that, that being in alignment part, it's you're not always in alignment. Often you're out of, a, uh, not in alignment, I'm just not out of alignment, not in alignment, but, I really relate to you like when I'm in full trust and knowing and I'm on path and I'm in flow, sometimes even before um, I get on a phone with a client, I know that, that I'm going to work with them because Spirit Universe has sent this person to me and it's all aligned and it just feels good to be able to get on the phone and go, oh yeah, this is this is great, this is this is going to work, I'm definitely meant to, I'm meant, I'm meant to serve you. Mm -hmm. And so when you get to that place of that inner knowing and that having that guidance, it feels so good. And when you can be in that place more and more often and just trust and know, okay, spirit, universe has, has sent me this person because we're meant to work together. I'm meant to support them on this part of their journey. It's like you actually don't have anything ever to worry about, mm -hmm. but we do. I mean, we do because we're humans and we get caught up in the worry and the fear and that sort of stuff. But really when you can stay in that place of alignment, it's like everything is golden. It's yeah. so good. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree with what you say. I love it. You know, cause even, you know, the month before I signed on someone else and I was like, well, I'm actually really surprised, you know, cause I just didn't think, you know, I was like, whatever, but it, you know, she's amazing. It's great. But I agree. Like I always say to myself, like, you know, it's that divine timing, like who I'm meant to be with, who, you know, I'm supposed to help this person. Great. You know, like they're trusting me. I'm trusting in them. It's all part of the journey. And you're right. There's nothing to worry about. But we're so caught up, you know, and I actually, it's funny, I have a few clients that have had to prescribe um, social media fasts to them <laughs> because oh, yeah. They, get, yeah, they get so caught up in comparison and like feeling bad about themselves and worry about like, oh, why isn't this happening fast enough? And I was like, look, shut off your Facebook and Instagram for at least a week and see what it's like, you know, and then they actually, they, they all like I've done this with multiple people. And they all report that they feel better. I'm like, yeah, there's a reality. It's called you're on your path. They're on their path. Everybody's on their own path. And you don't know the backstory. You know, you don't know their struggle that it took to get there. You don't know, um, you know, they maybe made six figures in a week, but maybe they invested, you know, $99,000 to make a hundred right. grand. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, <it. laughs> Totally. So I, lo I love that you bring this out to the forefront. And I think um, so many women, you know, who are on this, this path that we're on really agree with this. You know, it's, it's about staying connected to that deeper mission, really doing what brings you joy and being, you know, being grateful for all the good things that come your way, including all versions of wealth, you know, whatever it is. And, and I know, and as much as it sounds cliche, like, you know, be in gratitude and do your affirmations and meditate and all this, like, it really does work. It, yeah. it really does work. It can be the simplest things of just like, you know, some, some mornings I get up and I don't feel like I'm in a great mood, but I choose to, to change 
in you know to be in, in the feeling of abundance i think choice is a big part of it as well and not resisting also not pushing down if you are feeling crappy because the more you resist that the more we overanalyze it and i you know i need i need to be this or i shouldn't be feeling like this the, the worse it is and then yes don't go on facebook if you're feeling i mean don't go on facebook if you have a tendency to compare and i think when i first started my business i'll never forget this and i say it often now even to my own clients is that um my my business coach said to me once, comparison is the thief of joy. And it so is. It so is. You just don't need to be, you know, looking at what other people are doing and comparing because it doesn't serve us. Everyone's on their own path, like you said. It's so it's so funny because I recently ran into someone, someone I hadn't seen in, I don't know, like a year or something, and she's like, wow, you've been doing all this great stuff and this and that and this and that. And I was like, Oh yeah, because that's all you see on social media. Like, you know, of course, like if I go on a vacation, I'll post a picture, but I don't post pictures of like, you know, the papers that are piled up on my desk or the garbage that's overflowing or like clothes on my floor or whatever it is, you know? Yeah. I'm like, well, you know, there's, there's a reality to life, you know, there's a reality to business and, you know, you're right, you know, so I, I'm really glad you bring this up. And that's amazing what your coach said about um, comparison is the thief of joy. It's so true. And, you know, I always recommend and anybody that's watching, if you're feeling bad by looking at social media, just get off of it. It's not hard. You know, like I, I actually love social media. I think it's here as a, a blessing. You know, it's, it's here for like a greater good, but it's all about using it in the right balance. Now. Tiffany, I'm curious, um, you know, when you interviewed all these amazing women, some who I know were also good friends and I love, I'm Do curious, what, <laughs> yeah, yeah. what are um, some common themes that you found, like women say or people run in, you know, like on their path to becoming wealthy? Like what are the most common things you've heard? The, the common, the biggest common theme was wealth was, isn't just about money. And this is coming from women that, you know, have for the most part a lot of money you know um and you might think well that's all good and well you've got money so you can say that it's not about the money but they've also been on the other side of it where they haven't had a lot of money and they've had to do the you know the spiritual journey and the connection and go through the the challenges and the hardship but the main thing was um uh, one of the one of um there was a couple of uh, there was one of the a question that i asked where um, a couple, about three or four of the women um, answered in such a beautiful way that just made, it was such a good reminder. And the question was, who inspires you? Mm. Um, and some of the women said, I, kn I know this might, and some of them didn't, I mean, I wish they hadn't preferenced it because it was so beautiful, but they did because that's what we do as women. They said, I know this might sound corny or, or maybe I sh this shouldn't be the right thing to say, but I inspire me. Mm -hmm. And I was yeah. like, Oh my gosh, that's that's to me is the true true wealth when you know that you have all the answers within you when you are full of love for yourself when when you can get up in the morning and if you know SHIT is the fan that you don't blame yourself for anything that you know that you're on path that you've got it going on that you're effing awesome that you know that to me is true wealth and when they kept saying that i was like oh wow that was such a good reminder of like yes yes you can be your own inspiration you can be your own guiding light that you don't have to look outward that you can really spend the time looking inward to find that wealth and that's when the health comes and the abundance comes and the partner comes and all those sorts of things really start to show up yeah, it's, I love it because when you just started to say, you know, the one thing that they all said who inspired them, I was like, well, that would be me because yeah. I actually, I mean, it's, you know, yeah, of course I have those days where I'm like, ah, I'm so mad at myself, but, you know, I know the main reason I do what I do now is to help the version of myself that didn't have help years ago. Yeah, I, I love that you say that and you share that because yeah. that's your why. That's yeah. why you do what you do, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what gets you up every morning and you keep on going even when it gets tough. Yeah, I, w I wish I knew there was even such a thing as business coaches back when I started my other business. I literally had no idea. But had I known, it would have been a lot easier and now I'm on this mission to help people so they don't like go through all the hell that I went through. But it was great hell, it was amazing hell, it was totally good. <laughs> 
<laughs> I honestly don't know how I would have even got through my business without my business coaches. Like, what a godsend. Like, seriously, if, I don't know how people do it with, without. I, I feel like it's a lot, a lot a longer, more arduous road. Like, yeah. and I and I understand why the coaching business, whether you like it or not, has taken off because yeah. it's it's a really, it's just a really great gift to have someone by your side cheering you on and helping you and giving you not only the strategies but reminding of you, reminding you that yes, you can do it. You, you can really do this. Yeah, I actually, you know, that brings me to my next question because I actually, I know you do a lot of um in-person women's groups or, or real life groups, which I absolutely love. I actually prescribe that to all my clients. I'm like, you know what, go find a group. Every city around the world or every place around the world has something like this, right? Now, um, I want to address that. Like, what do you see the, the power in groups and, and, you know, is related to wealth and growth or, you know, business growth? Oh my gosh, so much. Um, you know, for me, when I created Sister Suppers, it was really around, similar to you, really around seeing that there was this, um, there was this huge gap that was happening um, in, in community. There just wasn't community. I think it's tipping. It's the other way. It's tipping to the other way now. A lot of people going online and their focus was online, and I think it's tipping back the other way now. That's kind of what I'm seeing anyway. And it was um, when you get people in a room in the energy of, you know, I call it bosom to bosom, there's something beautiful that unfolds that's different to a space that's online. And it's not to say that online isn't fantastic and it's great and it's global and we get to connect with people all around the world. But if you connect with someone across the world and then you meet them face to face, that energy is just beautifully different. And I think when you get people in a room and you build community on a common theme or a, a common um, cause or whatever it is, there's something about that the energetics of that phys that physicality that vibrates in a different way than just being online. And so uh, with the community that I continue to create and now I help women create community from within their homes mm -hmm. is that it doesn't have to be hundreds of people or thousands of people. Community can be a community of five or 10 or 20 or 50. Like, we live in this online space where we think bigger is better, like we have to have a community of thousands, otherwise we're not successful and we haven't made it, right? But community really does start from from home, from within home. And mm -hmm. what I've seen with, with the women that I've continued to connect with and grow with is beautiful friendships form and bonds form. Actually, I cried this morning because I got this email from a woman in my community saying, thank you so much for creating what you've created. I recently... Um, got a client through your community. Mm -hmm. I, I, um, I worked with another, um, uh, another woman in, uh, for her business and modeled some of her, her clothes. Um, you know, I, I recently went to dinner to, I'm going to one of the sister suppers again in a couple of weeks time. Like just, she just, she said everything in this email that was the core and essence of why I do what I do, that it made me cry. And, mm -hmm. you know, one person, it's one person at a time. And I think with, through Sister Suppers, it's really about understanding that when you create community, it's it's from the inside out. So for, it can be from within your home. It can be from behind your computer. It can be at, you know, a WeWork or something like that. Mm -hmm. But if you're just affecting change in one person where they've been alive because they've been seen and, and they've been heard, and that ripple effect is is unbreakable it's really unbreakable that's it's so true and it's that you know it's like this is also part of this this wealth you know it's like one person at a time you know if you can yes. help transform one person's lives think of all those lives that get transformed through them right it's like you're making a difference and i know you're making a difference in, in many people's lives so it's beyond the one but really it's like one at a time, one at a time, you know, and, and it's great. I, I agree with you completely, and I'm so, I'm part of so many amazing communities, like women's groups, and I help co-host this, this retreat, and my friends, and, you know, I'm in, in New York, and there's communities everywhere, so I cannot stress, you know, whether it's create your own, or join another, or the sister supper thing, the main definitely everybody can get together with other like-minded women, or like-minded people, Join a community. There's nothing like human connection in any yeah. 
anyway. Now, um, really quickly, tell people a little bit more about what all they can expect from your new interview series. It, by the way, it's free, and I'm pretty sure it's in this video post, the link. You can just click to join. But it, tell people, like, I know people are like, oh, well, I'm going to sign up. Like, you know, what, are they, <laughs> what should they expect? So they'll expect, uh, so there's over 21 female experts from all different backgrounds. So all entrepreneurs, um, uh, health experts, wealth experts, like m literally money experts, um, healers uh, that are scientists, all sorts of women that are talking about their journey for creating their business and how they brought wealth in, into their business. Um, there are also proven, like when I say proven strategies, but strategies that they will share with you around um, tactics that they put in place to create wealth in their business. So financial, health, relationships, all of it. Mm. Um, and so real tangible things that you can take away and go, oh, actually, I can imply that into my business, into my life right now. So it's not just like, oh, this is, this is my story and this is how I created it. It's like, no, these are the things that that I did to, these are the steps that I took to create that. Um, and then also what's really beautiful is they share their stories. Like they share their stories of like, this is the crap that I went through. And, and this was the big teaching that the lesson that I had to experience to, to get to where I am now. And, 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 or, and not just like, I'm not just talking about like crap that they went through years ago. I'm talking about things that happened to them last week or last month. Because it, 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 it can happen at any moment. So lessons that they've learned through those experiences, through through the, you know, so-called failures and so on and so forth. But for the most part, like, I've had so much joy doing this because I have just, after every interview, I've gotten off and taken notes of, like, oh, my gosh, I want that free gift and I'm going to make sure I do this. And, and, oh, my gosh, that was a really good reminder or that's an amazing strategy. I'm going to start implementing that. So... It was, it was just really valuable to know that, um, you know, as an entrepreneur, there's still always things that you can learn as well. So it's for the, the budding entrepreneur, it's for the new entrepreneur, it's for the entrepreneur that's been an entrepreneur for a while. There's something in there for everyone. Oh, yeah. There's always, always more to learn. It never, ever ends. I actually, it's funny, I have a client who's like, when is this going to, you know, when do I get there? I'm like, no, no, you don't ever get there. <laughs> You just keep going, you keep growing, you always evolve, always. And it's true. It's like, you know, learning from other people and learning from their stories is the number one way to do anything. Like, I mean, yeah. this is the whole, the, the whole point of our existence. You know, we learn from each other. We learn from our past. We learn from our family. It's the same. So I agree. Whether you already have a business or you're a new entrepreneur, Tune in. There will be definitely some golden nuggets for you to take home and implement and grow your business and create real, honest wealth. Like this is what wealth truly is. And I love that we're distinguishing wealth as what it, what it truly means to be abundant and wealthy versus just a bunch of crap that we see, uh, you know, being thrown at us left and right by media and ads everywhere. So. <laughs> Yeah, wealth is not just the car that you drive and the money in your bank account and the house that you own. It's so much more than that, so much more than that. And this is what they share about. It's really inspiring. So true. And now um, tell everybody, what's the URL to find find it at again? Yeah, it's um, howshemadeitseries.com. Awesome, how she made awesome. It. Yeah. Everybody, be sure to sign up, How She Made It Series. The link is in this video. And thank you so much, Tiffany. Thank you so much for doing this interview series. It's very important work. You know, I, I agree what you say. If us band together and collaborate, we all rise together. Like, this is it. We're out. You know, this is how the change in the world happens. And it's so exciting to be part of it. Yes. Yeah, and it's happening. And the more we can add to it, the more we can come together, the better. It's, yeah. it's super exciting. I agree. Thank you so much for joining. And I will see you next week on your interview series. And, um, Good luck, and thank you, everybody, for watching. Bye. Bye. Thanks.